Well, Brisbane's Lord Mayor has unveiled a record spending budget as homeowners face the steepest rate hike in more than a decade. Claire Todd Hunter is live for us in Brisbane. Claire, it appears this budget is really focused on South East Queensland's housing affordability crisis. Well, the Lord Mayor insists that is the case, Ash. Despite this 4.93% uh, uh, rise, a significant hike from last year's 3.75, uh, which means the average owner-occupier here in Brisbane will be paying an extra $85 per year. Now, the jump is being uh, blamed on floods, the pandemic, and also uh, rising costs, especially the cost of bitumen, which has gone up by uh, more than 40%. Uh, and Adrian Schrinner has defended it, saying it is still lower than Brisbane's inflation rate of 6%. Uh, now, the rise is higher, though, much higher for those who rent out their properties on short-stay platforms such as Airbnb. They're looking at a 50% hike in an effort to free up more homes for people who may want to rent, as uh, Queensland does face a, a housing shortage. Uh, the Lord Mayor says short-term rentals do cause a lot of issues for the city, and he's described this as a crackdown on many hotels. The short-term rental trend, which is facilitated by well-known booking apps, removes homes from the long-term rental market. Let me say that again, it removes homes from the long-term rental market. And this contributes to supply shortages and increasing housing costs. It creates an uneven playing field and jeopardises investment in purpose-built short-term accommodation like hotels. And this is not a good scenario for a city that's a decade away from hosting the world's biggest sporting event. Now, as those property owners are being asked to self-declare and neighbours are being encouraged to dob in those who don't. As you mentioned, though, this is also a record spending budget for Brisbane City Council of $4 billion. If we have a look at some of the key spending, they include $500 million over three years for flood recovery. So our draining projects will take up $131.4 million. Libraries, $76 million. And footpaths, $35 million. Meantime, the Sun Safe Suburban Playground program over three years will be $10 million and road resurfacing of $83 million, Ash. Claire Todd Hunter, live in Brisbane. Thank you.